Hey, what up, my freddies? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown YouTube video. I'm your host, Pineapple Fred, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Aquastep Quaquaval. I'm finally doing this video so I can get it out of the way and not use the word Quaquaval anymore. Any war anymore? God damn, this word, this Pokemon name, man, it's it's crazy. But there is salt at the end of the video, so stick around for that. And as always, we will start with a Breloom. I'm honestly loving Breloom. I never used to use it because I didn't understand it. Maybe I, I mean I did, but I just I didn't really give a shit about it because everybody used it. But now, now this thing's a monster, and I think it's going to become the new Spider for Gen 9. But I know that there is National Dex, and I should probably hop on that while we win! Uh, let's just continue from there, but as I said, there is National Dex, and I am considering... We're well, not considering, I'm definitely going to be jumping on that train soon. Uh, and Spider is there, so that's that's very nice. Um, let's hit him with the GLHF Bud. We start with the Breloom again. If they switch to Golden Go, we'll start with the Golden Go. That's not good. Low Kicks comes in with that first impression... Um, I'm gonna go to Corviknight. I'd like to save the Sash on the Breloom. I think it's very valuable. Jesus Christ, that does nothing. Um, I know it's got the, uh, it's got that thing, the, the Tinted Lens. Let's, let's U-turn out of here. They're gonna U-turn. I don't know why they did that. They could have just switched. Honestly, like, they did more damage to themselves than it did to me, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, sorry for that weird intro. Uh, I did. Honestly, usually if that happens where the person forfeits turn one, I just end it and redo the commentary. But I couldn't be bothered, you know. Um, everything was going pretty well. I was in middle. I was like mid sentence. So yeah, let's go to the Great Tusk. We are faster because I have a scarf on this, and I did a video on scarf Great Tusk. Absolutely insane. Uh, no reason not to go for the Headlong Rush. If they switch to the Golden Go, that means it's Air Balloon, but they don't. Now they know we are sashed. It's not useless, but you know. They can use that against me big time, but we are faster than everything, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah, the point of the video is to showcase Aquastep Quaquaval. Uh, I really like Aquastep, how you gain speed from that, and it has Moxie, so it's it's an absolute beast. But for that to work, um, the Pokemon needs to be pretty low health. So I'm going to go back to the Corviknight and switch out with the U-Turn. They're going to go for first impression again, that's fine with me, or U-Turn, honestly, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go for a Roost. Because everything else, no. I was going to say everything is a physical attacker, but the Golden Go is special. So I'm going to go for a Roost. Ah, okay. Perfect. Don't. Don't do it, you bitch. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you fucking did. Oh, man. Oh, this this asshole, man. Of course they hit himself. <sighs> Screw you, Corviknight. Nobody likes you. Um, but I was planning on doing a video soon where I use the best Gen 8 Pokemon. Like, the absolute top tier of Gen 8. And see how they fare against Gen 9 Pokemon. Because... Like, I just want to see the Pyro Creep. Like, Corviknight is clearly one of the best. It's OU. Uh, I could do it with Ubers, like Zacian and Zamazenta, but I don't know how that's going to work out. So, because I don't really want to play Ubers. And um, yeah, let's go for a U turn. They're going to Dragon Dance. That's fine with me. I'm going to go to the Breloom and put this thing to sleep. I know that it has Ice Shard? Icicle Spear. Does it have Icicle Spear? Ah, I don't fucking remember. Let's go for a Spore. I know I could just go for the Mock Punch, but. Oh, bastard. I should have gone for the Mock Punch. That was dumb. Well, um, not looking so good here, Chief. Let's go for Gardevoir. Unfortunately, we are not faster. I didn't give this thing max speed investment because I wanted to give it special defense. I think they are going to destroy me, so let's go for a... Why did I give it both? I forgot to give it Psychic. Whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter in this case. Do not stop, 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 stop. We're going to get wrecked, because I didn't go for Mach Punch, but I don't know if Mach Punch would have killed. So if someone could let me know in the comments down below, that'd be great. Uh, I suppose Quaquaval. Honestly, fuck it. Let's go for a close combat. I don't think they're going to go for Icicle Spear. So I could try and gain some speed, but I'm not going to do that. Do not, do not fucking flinch me. Do not do it. Okay, thank God. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh my God. I was, I was about to maul so hard if I flinched there. Um... Iron Valiant, perhaps? I mean, everything is faster, but the Dodon, Dodonzo, Dondazo, Dondazo. I can't speak this. I can't say this name. Um, ah, Dondazo does come in. Well, it's got unaware, so that makes sense. Let's go for a close combat, deal a bunch of damage. Or not. Quack of all, you could do whatever you want. They're going to spam curse, so now is a good time to go to the Iron Moth and land a discharge. Please do not hit me. Okay, we're good. Uh, discharge, hopefully we can land a para, and then they miss a turn, because they did land that confusion earlier with the axe kick, so it'd be nice if you could para them. Body press? Alright, um, I'm gonna go for fiery dance. 
Boom, raise my special. Yeah, let's go. That's what we like to see. Unfortunately, the Iron Valiant is still faster, but I'm going to... Hmm. I'm not going to stay in. I'm actually, wait, shit. Not good. I kind of need to stay in. It's not good. Let's go for let's go for the sludge wave. Hopefully they don't kill me. What the fuck? Jesus, Iron Moth, you are you are just garbage. Um, I'm gonna go to Corviknight in case there's well, I was gonna say in case there's Sash, but they're not because they got that booster energy. I'm gonna go for an Iron Head. I'll drop some uh, health because I got that Rock the Helmet. Great Tusk, I don't think is faster. Yeah, it's definitely not faster. Um. I'm going to Terrastalize to a ground type so there's no more, their fairy move will be uh, neutral damage. And I guess, Headlong Rush, I mean anything will kill it, so, mm, hell yeah, we're going to win this. Unless the Golden Go is Terra or Air Balloon, because I'm now locked into this. But otherwise, I honestly think this was a pretty good game, I had a lot of fun, I got outplayed, uh, I outplayed them. Uh, okay, we do win the Terra to Steel type. Uh, GG well played bud, pretty successful first game, well, second game I guess, and we're gonna do one more commentary and then the salt. Alright, and we're back for the second game, a very scary team. We're up against Blagot, Blagot, uh, that, I hope it's not what I think it is. Uh, they got Low Kicks, Breloom, Arcanine, so they got a lot of priority on this team, and they got Cyclozar. So we'll hit them with the GLHF bud. We will lead with our Breloom, they're probably gonna go with Breloom or Low Kicks, right? Chiyu! Okay, uh, I'm gonna go for a Mach Punch instead of the Spore, I know I could, but I have a really good feeling that I might be able to knock this thing out. Ooh, yes, Mach Punch was the move. Let's go to Corviknight here. Um, low Kicks will definitely not do shit to me unless it goes for Axe Kick. First impression's not gonna hurt me. Boom. Boom. Hell yeah. Okay, let's U-turn out of here, and yeah, Low Kicks is not dead. Wow, okay, nice. Uh, which is pretty good, because we got a clean switch in. Uh, if they go back to the low kicks, I can go back to the, um, the core of night. And we get out of here. The Entei. Nice. Um, I guess now is a good time to go to Quaquaval. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to go for a, uh, an Aqua Step. Hopefully it kills. If it doesn't, then whatever. But they... Ooh, nice. Damn! That's sneaky. I got to try that too. I absolutely love the terrestrialization concept. It's really cool. Unlike the game-breaking moves and game-breaking abilities, terror types are fun. You know, it adds a new sort of complexity to the game that we needed for years. Um, okay, Cyclozar comes in. Let's go for an Iron Head. Uh, I'd like to break the sub, so I'm going to go for the Iron Head. Um, that was a really good switch on their part, honestly. Yeah, Shed Tail comes in. Nothing I can do about it and just hope that Iron Head kills, but I don't think I give this thing anything of any attack investment. So I really doubt that Iron Head is going to do enough. Really? Okay. Oh, we do do enough. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm going to U-turn in case they try and Spore. Yeah. Okay. They do Spore. Honestly, I could have gone for the Breloom, but I, I didn't want to risk them breaking my sub. So I'm going to go to Iron Moth because it's not going to do any damage. Mock Punch shouldn't kill. Rock Slide won't. They're probably slashed. Uh, sashed. Sorry. So... Hmm... I want to go for Discharge, because I could maybe land a para in case they are sashed. And if I can land the para, then that'd be great. Honestly, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I might be horribly wrong. I might have been horribly wrong on that play. No. Okay. Let's go to Gardevoir. And I still forgot to put Psychic on this. To be fair, I ended the last battle and just went straight into this. So Mach Punch isn't going to... Fuck, that does so much. Damn, okay, uh, I have no reason not to go for Moonblast. This thing is basically going to shit on the whole team. Yo, because the Entei is no longer Fire-type, so it, they don't have a Fairy Resist. Looking pretty good so far. They have that Chiyu, though, so... Um, Entei is gone, very nice. If they go to the Low Kicks, I go back to the Corviknight, so, so far, so good. I don't really need the Corviknight to hit anything or Defog, because they don't have any setup. I mean, uh, hazards, right? So, Corviknight is purely just here to take a hit. Um... This is scary. I don't like it one bit. I do want to keep the Gardevoir, so... I want to showcase Quaquaval, but I don't think I'll get the chance because there's priority on these two. So... I'm going to sack the Quaquaval. I mean, Iron Moth could maybe take the hit because I'm Assault Vested. Um, but Quaquaval doesn't have any speed investment, so it's only faster 
It's faster than nothing. It's garbage. Yeah, okay. Uh, the reason why I didn't give it plus speed, I gave it plus attack because Aqua Step would raise its speed. And honestly, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I probably wasn't thinking. Uh, let's go to the Breloom and go for a Mach Punch. Or I go to the Great Tusk and go for the Headlong Rush because I don't know that we're, uh, we're Scarfed. And, oh, they're Scarfed as well. That works in our favor. They don't know we're Scarfed, but obviously Breloom or Low Kicks can come in. But fortunately for us, if Breloom comes in, we have Corviknight that's still asleep. So Spore is out of the question, right? Um, so far, so good, honestly. Uh, Breloom comes in. Let's go back to our Corviknight. Hopefully we can win this game as well. And it's getting quite long. So ideally, I'd like this, I'd like this game to end soon, please. Well, let's see. It is. Eh. Okay, let's go for a U-turn. Please wake up, you bastard. Please wake up. I need to go to the Gardevoir, otherwise it's not good. Okay, that's bad. Okay, we know that Mach Punch did 30% last time with plus two, so we're definitely not gonna kill this time. I'm gonna go for the Moonblast. Down goes the Breloom. That was honestly one of the one of the bigger threats because it could put a Pokemon to sleep. I still have my Breloom with the Sash, so quite valuable. In comes the Corviknight, down goes the Low Kicks. Unless they wanna use this turn to switch, it would be very clever for them. Uh, I would have I would have just switched to the Cyclazar, but I guess they didn't want to bank on like overthinking. Uh, Iron Valiant comes in. Let's go for a Roost. They don't have Booster Energy, so they they could be choiced. Oh, they forfeit. Well, I'll take it. GG, well played, bud. And that's the end of the commentary. I hope you enjoy the salt portion of the video. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video guys, I really do appreciate it. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing because I do make some pretty awesome daily content, and if you're a recurring viewer and you just want to help the channel out, be sure to go down there and leave a like and a comment on the video to help it circulate. And yeah, with that said, why not watch another one of my videos, and if not, I'll see you in the next one.